Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to make these buttered cookies. Now I'm using Irish butter. It's a bit more expensive, but it's very worth it because it has a very great flavor to it. Now what you want to do is take your butter at room temperature and you want to mix it up a bit just and slowly you add about a cup of powdered sugar. Now, you know, what you want to do here is cream it. Now you can do this process by hand, but I prefer the stand mixture because it's a lot easier. So just keep mixing it and you want to scrape the side of the bowl every now and then just to make sure it creams nice and evenly. So all the powdered sugar is mostly absorbed by the butter. You could also add vanilla extract in after that point, but I didn't this time. Because I wanted a very neutral flavor for these cookies. As you see here, it's nice and well creamed. And you want to slowly in, add in the flour. Now I'm using all-purpose flour. Now there, there is an exact measurement for the flour. Because what you're here is looking for is consistency. And since flour is an agricultural product, it's not always the same. So you want to do is mix it till you get the texture of sand. So it's all crumbly and it doesn't hold together. As you see, it's coming up here nicely. So it's more like crumbs. So I ended up using about four cups of flour. But you might use a little more or less, depending on the flour and the conditions you're making this in. And as you see, it's nice and crumbly. And you want to transfer it to a pan lined with parchment paper. And you want to make it evenly, smoosh it down all together as so. Till it's nice, flat, and smooth. And of course, you want to make it start to even thickness, about a half an inch thick. You just want to massage it all together. Once you get it all smooshed in together and evenly, you want to take a fork and score it all the way through. Now I'm making each cookie about one fork's length apart. You just want to score it all the way down. Make sure you go all the way to the bottom of the pan though. It's easy to break when you're done. I'm making them each about two, two fork lengths long. You want to score it that way as well. Now you want to score the center. Now you do not go all the way through at this step. Just about halfway through. This is meant to help so that it really steam and gives it a nice look as well. And once it's done, you want to take it out of the baking dish and you want to separate them. You want to be careful with the stays because they're still brittle and they can break. As that one did there. You just want to even space them out on your cooking sheet. Now you don't have to grease your cooking sheet. Because they won't stick. You want to pop in your oven at 325, about 13 to 15 minutes. They won't expand too much because there's not a lot of liquid in it. It's just butter. And there you go. You got yourself some Irish buttered cookies. Now I do hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the food. Thank you for watching.